Right, so this is part one for Robert Lang's Origami Tarantula. And this is the only decent fold I've got of this model, so I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be redoing it again after this test fold for the my official fold. So this is what it looks like. This is shadow fold paper from the origami shop. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy this. This is the best paper I had at the time to make this model. It was probably made a few years ago. Again, it's the best fold I've got. So this is just regular craft paper, black on one side, normal on the other. This will be for the tutorial. And for my actual fold, which I'll do after, this is Duo Paper by New Jean. And it's thin, it's crisp. And the good thing about this paper is that it's a furry texture when you shape it, so you can so you'll be able to get the as you know the tarantula has lots of wee hairs all, all, all over its body. This will this should replicate that effect. So I'll do that after this tutorial. Right, so if you can, use a sheet that's got the, the same colour on both sides. If not, then the black's going to be the colour side, and then this, this side is going to be the white side, so... White side up. So we're going to, what we're going to do is take this edge, fold it onto the centre, and then make a pinch where it meets this diagonal. So I've done here, here, here. Turn it around. And then same again here. But we're going to make an extra crease. We're going to make the one here and here. So fold it up. two creases and then make a pinch mark on the center line so here's the two pinch marks like so and then make a pinch on the center line which is this one here so right here so I should have done this going the opposite way, but it doesn't matter because that just means the colour side gets flipped. But don't worry, I'll tell you what the colour side is in a second. So now we've got that. Now 
Now this is actually going to be the colour side, and then the black will be the white side. So flip it over. And then take each corner and fold up to the first pinch mark. Well there's two here, so it's going to be the first one. And then there's only one here, so it's going to be up to that one. One there. And then the last one there. So fold four corners. Up. Like so. Right, so now we're ready to collapse, but before we collapse, just to make sure, this black side is the white side, so that the white side should be up, and then this is the colour side. So make sure you've got it in this position first before we continue. Right, so now we can continue. So again, just make mountain fold, mountain, valley, valley, and sim simply collapse it. So like so, have this. Right, so now find the side that has the two. So fold this over to the left just so it's easier. So this side's got one, that side's got one, this side's got one, and this side's got two. So make sure this two is on the left. Now take this point, fold it down onto the center line, and make a crease from this top line, this top pinch mark, straight across. Like so. There's the top pinch, here's the bottom, it's the top one. And now we're going to make, while keeping this down, we're going to fold this over and make a line from this corner down to this corner. So it's straightforward, so I'm just going to close it. So just hold it down, fold this over. Pull until it's like so, and then use this as the pivot point. Put your finger on it, and then use this to adjust, and then adjust until you get to the bottom. Again, make sure these layers are lined up, and don't worry if they're not perfectly, it doesn't matter too much. So again from this point down to this point, but this paper is not going to pull down too much on the top so it doesn't matter. Again we're going to do the exact same on this one and then flip it around, do the exact same on this one. So again from this point down to this point and the same again on this point. So three more times in total. First two done, turn it around. Up 
that one done, and then the final one. Again, the more precise you are with the pinch marks at the start, it's much easier. So now we've got this. So fold all four of them over. So we have this. Now turn it around and take this edge and fold it onto this edge and stop the crease where it hits the center line. So again, got it like this, put it down, I'm going to zoom in again, this edge onto this edge. then make the crease down until you hit the centre and then stop it. Unfold it. So if we open it up, we've got this. That's where it stops. And then do the exact same on this side. So again, this edge onto this edge. should have this. Now we're going to want to basically I'm just going to open sync on this mountain fold. So how I do it is we've got this layer and then you've got two layers on each side and then the top layer. So take the bottom layer and this layer and put your hand to separate it so you've got a th the top layer on top and then this layer they're both on top and these two are on the bottom and then open it up so push open it up and then push this part in so this is going to be the mountain folds the, crease the creases we just made are going to be the mountain folds and then this center one is going to be the ballad so it is straightforward. So open it and then push. And then make this the mountain fold. And then mountain fold as well. Mountain fold as well, the exact same on this side. Push until you feel the valley folds go in place. Make this last mountain fold and then squash it all together. Again sometimes it might come loose or undone, you don't need to worry about that. Oh, wow. So it's happened with me so I'm just going to try. How am I supposed to fix this? <laughs> right, right there. Why this always happen to me? So you should have this, and what happened with this one was it came undone. So what I ended up with was this. I had that, and it's not going to lie flat. If you do that, you don't make any extra pieces on this collapse. So if you have something like this, and again, what I'm going to do here is the exact same do on here but just the, the reflection of it, you open it up, take this point, this part and push it under this one, on this mountain fold, so push it in until these line up and then it will lie flat but don't flatten it out right now because we're going to need to unsync few layers so this is what you should have. 
So this is the mountain folds that we made, these two outside ones, and here as well, and then the valley fold. Right, so now we're going to unsink. So open up one of the sides. So we'll do this one first. So open it up. That might be different on yours. You might have it on the inside here, or it should be the same. But so open it up and then unsink this part, this layer. So put your finger right here and then push all the way till it comes out. And then push this in. So before you make it flat, make sure it's neat first. If it's not neat, don't flatten it, because then it won't be right. So you've got an extra flat here. So do the exact same here, this time this is on the left. So it should be one on the left, then the other one on the right. So that's how you should do these unsinks. So again, cut my finger here, I'm going to push out, I'll push up. Make the mountain fold, pull, open up the layers, re get the mountain fold, make it sharp, and then push in this crease. We don't need that anymore. And there we go, we've just done the unsinks. Now you should have eight in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So we should have this. So now we're going to continue. So this is the part that I couldn't make out when I first made this from Joe Nakashima's tutorial on it. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So fold down this top layer, all the way down, and then make the crease. Now fold this top layer over, and you should have one layer at the bottom three on the top, there's a first one, second one, third one, so one on the bottom, three on the top, and then just wrap it here, so first of all do this bottom one, so I'll just take edge to edge, only up to this pinch mark, unfold it, turn it around, do the exact same on the three layers this time. And you probably want to be careful when you do this, just so you're precise. The more precise you are, the better the finished result's going to be. And it's going to be easier to go with precision later on. So you've made this pinch, the, this mark, this crease, and this crease. So fold both, and then close over, and then fold that up as well. So now you should have this, one layer at the bottom, and three still on the top. So now what we're going to do is basically squash it all, and then unsync three times. So. Take the first layer, this is how I'm going to do it. Take the first layer, put your thumb in between. Oh, the battery I'm going to change the battery again. So, again, the battery's changed, now we can continue. Open up. So you're going to keep two on the left, one on the right, and then one here. So open up the first one, hold it like this, pull down, and we're going to make 
mountain fold, we're going to squash this one sided part first. It's going to be quite tricky, you just need to work, work with the paper. So that mountain fold will change easily, but this one won't. So Even if you can just pull and grab the mountain fold. And then once you've got it, just pull it apart. So you have something like this. And then make a mountain fold. So make mountain fold on this line and this crease here and the, the same on this side and then just the valley fold on the center and then squash it. Oops. Right, so it won't lie fully flat, I just remember there. That's what I've probably done the very first thing trying to fold it flat and you end up with, you end up with that. So you don't you don't want to do that. So now we need to unsync three times. So keep so the first one that's correct. Now we need to unsync once in here on this side and in between these layers. So one, two, three in total. So how I do it is take open this up so this is going to become the mountain fold. Try and hold it open. So this is going to be the mountain fold, and then the mountain fold, and then the mountain fold. So open up. This is the the side with just one layer. So grab this mountain fold, pull it out. And then these two will merge in with each other, which is fine. Again, when you do this, try and be as precise as possible. Try and be neat. It's all about neatness. So you have something like this. Again, don't worry if it's, it looks messy, but it's not. Right, so once you have this, what we're going to do is pull this side up and then bring this together, bring these sides together. So that just make sure I've got these creases in place. Yep. So so the easiest way to do it is just bring down this top and then slowly Pull the paper back into position. Again, that's not neat in there, so don't automatically just make the crease. Open it up and then try your best to use the folds, which I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, well, yeah. I just need to open it up and do it manually. There we go. And that should have done the first unsync. So, again, this is this part right here is where we've done the first one and then we pulled out this layer so this layer was essentially wrapped inside and then under so we've got that out so now we can do the next one so open it up grab this layer and then pull it right out again that's going to be the mountain fold and the mountain fold and then the valley right here so pull, make mountain fold first, and then pull. So I'm, I'm, I'm holding it here, I'm holding it here, and I'm pulling. And then it automatically makes the crease. And then just slowly collapse the flat. And there we go. That is both, that's all the unsync's done. So now you should have one 
flat layer here, this wee part, and then one here and one here. I'll just try and show you more angles. And it's not that hard to do, it's just knowing where the layers are and where to pull out. But once you're here, you're on a roll, it's straight forward from now on. Well, sort of, mostly. Right, so fold this back up, turn it around, and then just fold this one down. Because now we want to make it symmetrical. Again, just fold it down on the centre line, and then make the crease. Now we want to fold over one layer, fold it back up, fold a layer over, fold it down, um, that's alright. I think I need to fold this one down, yep. So fold this down and then fold the last layer over. And then take your time and try and make it as neat as possible. going to make the layers even again. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then when you open up, you should have this. So if you've not got this, then just go back, open up the layers and make sure each layer is folded over. So you should have this when you're finished. Right, so now what we want to do is, we want to reverse fold, there's 8 flaps in total, so one. So if you hold it like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so we want to reverse fold 8 of the flaps, so take, start off with this one, take this edge, fold it onto this edge. this edge onto the centre line. So it should line up with this mark, so don't worry too much if it doesn't. Again, it's hard to be precise. That's why you always take your time when you fold. And then repeat this for the other six flaps, so just fold it over, edge to edge, and then make the crease. Last one. Yep. So now that we've done eight of those, now we want to open sync or reverse fold on these lines that we've just made. So open up and then that will both be the mountain fold. So mountain fold then mountain fold. We're just reverse folding this part inside. Over. 
and then we're doing that for the other seven. We're repeating that for the next seven. There we go. That's all eight flaps reverse folded in. Now this is the part that's going to be the most time consuming because we need to do a lot of open sinks to basically shrink all this into this. So first of all, make sure you've got four flaps on each side just to keep it symmetrical. And then you've got a small one here, this one, the big one. Now take this corner, fold it onto it this corner here, right here. You can even make the diagonal, you've not got it, just fold this down. Just to help you line up. Now take corner to corner and then make the crease. I won't show you all of this, but it's the exact same process to do it for the rest of them. Right, so now take this corner and fold it to the center of this intersection right here where these lines meet. Just make the crease. And make them nice and strong as well. And then take this point and fold it to this point so to divide this part in half. And then this point to this point. And then just divide each part in half. And there you go, you've done the divisions for this one. Now turn around or even flip over a few layers so I'm like this. So I'll fold over this one. And then this one and then do the exact same process on these two corner to corner then this corner to that mark and then half it and then half and half and then repeat that process for the rest of the flaps I'm not going to show you because it it's going to take forever again if you need help just uh, go back to when I do this but if you want you've done that what you want to do is You want to flex first of all, just make sure that it's symmetrical again. Right, so we're going to fold this line in half, so take this, the top flap. So take this point, fold it down to the centre. 
and then make the crease. And then open sync on the line we just made. So open it up. Then you need to open up this part as well. So take this part and just pull it open. Close it back up. So take this part, fold it over. Again, when you do this, make sure it's nice and neat. And take your time as well. Close it over. And then there we go. Now, um, remake this crease. this one. So now we're going to open sync this whole flap, this whole side. So it's one flap right here we're going to open sync on the creases here. And this is the hardest one so far out of all of them so we don't do this one, just fold this over and then back up so it makes this easier to do. So this is the hardest sink out of all of them, you only need to do it like two or three times. So take out this flap, open it up, it's going to be quite messy, so open it all the way up until you've got this. And then the outside is a mountain fold, the first crease, so we'll do that. And then the mountain fold comes all the way up. So like this. And then make, this is what I do, make a mountain fold from here to here. like so, and then just collapse the rest as normal. So the next one will be the valley fold. Then the last one will be the mountain fold. And again, you don't need to worry too much about how precise it is here because you, you won't really see it. And then once you've got here, take your time and try and put it back into place. So do not rush this part. So it will look quite messy, but just take your time. Fold this flap back over. And again, don't worry too much about if it's not super neat in here, mine, mine isn't. So you should have something like this. So when you do it, open it up make sure you've got this. This is where the open sink was. And then fold it back over. And then repeat the process on this side. So on this flap. So fold it down, 
fold this layer over so it makes it easier. Remake this because I've already had the crease and then just repeat the process. So I'll show you one more time. Open up. Push all the way. First crease on the outside the mountain fold. And then the mountain fold comes up. And then from here to here, those two pinch marks, or the two corners, you make a mountain fold. And then push inside, and then just re-collapse as normal for an open sink. Now just from here on, take your time and try and put it back in place. So you should have something like this when you're finished. So make sure the flaps are on each side. Then this is the first open sink. And then the second one. Again, don't worry too much if it's not neat here. Mine isn't neat here, but you can change all that when you shape. So don't worry about that. Now just open sync this last flap in between those two ones. So open up, take out this layer, push out, then this is where that extra layer is, so keep that in place. And then just mount and fold the first line. And then from here to here, make that re-crease. And then just close it back up. So like that. Now we want to spread sync the three corners in this layer. So here's the first one. spread sink this one here then this one and then this final one so it's straightforward so make sure the bottom is secure so like that it is get my thumb push all the way up so it spreads it and 
I need to make this back even as well. It's probably easiest to do it when it's lying flat. So let me just zoom in. So I've got it nice and flat, I'm holding it in place. I'm pushing with these two fingers, I'm pushing apart and then I'm pushing down. Again, don't worry if it's not neat, this part doesn't get seen. So it's not it's not wanting to go neat for me. Hopefully it does for you. That's, that's the best I can get. So again, take your time when you do this. And then, this last part, straight forward, same again. Two fingers, push. So I'll just, so I'll do, I'll do it again, so it's closer on the footage. So I've got like this, even your thumb, applying pressure down, and then the thumb, Down. Then it'll spread it like so, and then just squash it flat. And that is that done. So again, turn it around. I'm going to open sync these two flaps. But they're much easier this time because you don't have this part. So these ones are straightforward. So again, to make it easier, fold it down, fold this over, and back up. And then open it up. All the way. Again, the outside crease as the mountain fold. Then it's just easily closing it back up. And then once you're here, just again take your time, try and put it all back in place nice and neatly. And what has happened here? And then just repeat the process on this side. I'm not going to show you, just to save a bit of time. Again, it's the exact same as this. We're just doing it on this flap. Now we've done that, just open sync this last flap here. It's a really, uh, really straightforward one. And then again, we're going to spread sync all this, so two here and one here. So I'll just put it down again flat, it makes it much easier. So hold it. So spread the layers first. And then 
official. And then try your best to spread signal. And it still doesn't want to go neat for green. Hopefully it does for you. And then again, same with the last one. Spread and then push. sync the last two flaps so here and here so I'll show you the first one again it's the it's just it's the the easy ones so it's just like these no it's actually different ones even easier ones so again mountain fold valley mountain in the base form for the tarantula now we can reverse fold all eight legs so we've got four on this side four on this side one two three four five six seven eight so make sure you've got this part at the back or the front front like this then just open up and then push up and then fold it like that so that's the first one done repeat it again on the other side so open it up fold it down Then like so. And then repeat that process for the last six legs. Again, when you do do it, make sure they they are the same height. So they're the same height. Don't don't make it so you're you're pulling out too much. So they're not be too high. Have this when you're finished, and then just fold down like so. And we're almost there. There's a few more things we need to do before you can actually get to shaping. So, again, as you can see, we've got four legs on each side, the two, the front legs, uh, and I need to change my battery again. Right, so battery is changed now got this. Now what we want to do is spread sink these sorry. 
going to spread sink these two corners here. So we'll basically make a straight line going from here, well round about here, straight across. It, it's not slanted, it's straight. So we'll make this line just down enough so we can then spread sink these parts, but they need to be from corner to corner. So let um, let's explain it. It needs to start from here and go up to here, where the line, where the center line is. So it needs to meet the center line. So you just, it's quite tricky. You just need to fold down this part enough. So something like that. And then once it meets the center line, fold it. Oops. And then fold it straight down flat. And then just repeat it on this side. Now, this is where, if you did take your time and be precise, everything should line up nice and neatly. Because this part does get seen, well, most of it. So you want to make it look as best you can. So, near enough like that. So that's where the line work is. So it's just under this line here. Then these parts here are the wee fangs. So now open it up, push this part inside. Just to hide it, you can do the exact same here. This part doesn't get seen. So you should have this. And now make a mountain fold somewhere behind this crease because we want to open sink this part. So grab here, pull, and then fold down just to make the crease. And then I'll do the same here. So I'll do this side first. So pull this part back out. And then as best you can sink this part inside. So don't worry about how messy it is. You don't need to worry about that, that's the last thing you need to worry about. So I've got something like this. Now I'll just use my retail to help push the layer inside. So you should have something roughly like this. And then just close it back up. And then when you repeat that process on the other side, you can easily fold all these layers down. So you've got the perfect wee front spike. So that's that side done. Do the exact same on here. Make the mountain fold. Unfold it. And then again, as best you can, try and sink it. It's, it's more of a closed sink than anything else. Oops, I just made a hole in it. Don't do that.
So remember, you don't need to be neat with this, it doesn't get seen. As long as the top part is neat, we're good to go. And then just hide the excess paper. And then, once we're here, we should hopefully have something like this, or similar to it. Then just fold all this paper down. And then just squash this up. Again, it doesn't need to be neat. And there we go. That's perfect. That's what you should hopefully have when you've done that. So we're almost finished with the base. There's a few more things we need to do, there's not that much. So these are the front legs, these ones, so we need to put them to the front. And the way to do that is take this top layer, I fold it in half, fold this all the way up, and then pull this layer back over. Like so. And then do the same on this side. So fold it over, fold it up, and then back over. And then just take your time to try and flatten it all out. So now we've got this. Now what we need to do is the last two, there's four more sinks in total, and then that's the last part of this video. So on the existing creases that we've already got, open sink, two on the top, and then two more on below. So we'll do the bottom ones first, the easiest. So just pull it open. Same on the other side. Oh, wow. Okay, so again, oh, no, just pull open. Again, you can judge this depending on how far your paper is pushed in. What I mean by that is, you know, this is where this open sink is. It's not lining up with this edge, so you may need to pull the paper over so it lines up. Or if you can't do that, even just sink it less. So instead of doing it all the way, just do it half the way. But again, it's entirely up to you on how your model actually is. existing creases to line up underneath. It's not one to go easily. Hmm. So it's probably easier to not sink this top one but rather just fold it over. Then, then it'll be much cleaner. And then fold this top part up. You need to tuck in just a wee bit of the top because there's too much of it to hide underneath. So you put this part underneath. Then valley fold. So once you've opened and sunk the bottom ones, normally you would do the same with the top on the existing crease, but sometimes 
the paper is pulled in too much and it doesn't fully line up. So open sync it only so it lines up with the layer underneath. So it will be much less. Because with this, with this model there's a, a lot of layers and they don't always line up so that's mu that looks much better than if I were to open sync it on the existing crease which is right here. So that, that's another 2mm down so that would be too much. You want it to be flush with the start of the leg, the, the body part. You want it to line up there. So again just the exact same on this side. Like so. And then these layers need to be kept over. Right, so fold this part up. And then this part back down. And then just fold the tip of that part inside. Okay, just make sure it's straight. Oops. Like that. Because that will be the, the front. That'll be that'll be pushed down flat. And that is basically it. That's the base. So that's the end of part one. And then part two will, will shape it all. And now I can finally redo it again with the old paper. So this will probably be my official fold. But I do have more paper coming, so I'll probably do a few, just in case this doesn't turn out. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and make sure you come find part two when I upload it to finish off this tarantula.